What part of do not show your face in Pine Valley do you not understand? You don't just up and leave Erica Kane alone. She's secure. For now. For now? And what is that supposed to mean? It means I've got a bad feeling she's going to find out what really happened. You have one job and one job only. Now do it, or things will start coming out. Got it? here looking for you you never showed up at the office which is where I thought you told me you were I'm sorry I haven't been honest with either of you after my rescue I really thought that it would be just you know business as usual after a few days but uh, I was wrong it's it a few days hasn't been enough Honey, all you had to do was let somebody know. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't want everyone to worry. I mean, I, I am not the only one who survived the ordeal. If you're not ready, you should have said something. No, I didn't I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to admit it even to myself. Because Erica Kane is always ready. But now I'm free. Because Kendall and Bianca are both safe. And so that puts me in a mood to celebrate. Mm, by shopping, apparently. Well, yes. <laughs> Presents for everyone. Even you, Caleb. I just want to enjoy my life. <laughs> I want to enjoy my money. Yes, I do. I've earned it, haven't I? Yes, you have. <laughs> I am not in some post-traumatic crazy place, okay? You're okay. This is just me. And this is just me needing my partner. <clears throat> the Baskin Rich deal. Remember? Oh, yes, of course. What about it? I drew up the contracts, the ones we discussed, and I need you to sign off on it. Let me have a look. Son. That's it? No questions, no opinions? Nope. You did a fantastic job. There. That was easy. If you're done shopping for the day, there are a ton of other things we need to go over. Caleb, whoa. Erica just said she needs more time. Jack, there are other things that need both of us to address. Unless... You want to turn everything over to me. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Are you hungry? Because I'm famished. So why don't you go to Confusion and get us a table, and then we'll work over a late lunch. Are you sure? Positive. I'll meet you there. I'll show you out. I'm so sorry to return your call, Jack. I just, you know, I was on the go from the moment I woke up this morning. I never even checked my messages till I got to the building. It's fine. Tell me, though, have you heard any more from Hayward about that uh, letter he wanted you to sign? Erica, don't tell me that you're planning to help this man. Well, Jack, doesn't, doesn't everyone deserve a second no, chance? No, not Hayward. Are you kidding me? What is wrong with... Erica, you know better than anybody else the damage that man has caused, what he has done to, to, to your family, to our family. I know how to handle David Hayward. Just trust me. Boy, that is not what I wanted to hear. Honey, I have an appointment. Do you need a ride? No, I'm fine. 
Shall we order? I think we should just get down to work. Well, I never got a chance to give you your present. What's this? Well, open it. Go ahead. I hope you like it. Huh. It's for meetings, for, for business. Oh, I think it's going to look just great on you. Dorothy, are you flirting with me? Because you are with Jack. You can't have it both ways. I don't want it both ways. Then what's with this? Well, as I told you, I'm happy. I feel exhilarated. I feel free. Is there something wrong with wanting to share that with, with all the people around me? No. As long as we know where we stand. We do. Good. So we have a press conference coming up. A uh, uh, press conference? Well, what will I wear? Excuse me? Well, you said press conference, so I assume there'll be a lot of cameras, and then I... I mean, I really have to look my best. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going to the office. Feel free to join me when you're feeling a little less... exhilarated. Be some serious soda water. Excuse me. No, excuse me. I'm a bit parched. Wow. Falling off the wagon with a vengeance, I see. What do you want, David? I stopped by a place earlier with my letter. You remember the one that you promised you'd sign? Jack told me. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Did he also tell you that he said there was no way in hell that you would help me? Well, don't act so surprised. I'm not nearly as surprised as your family's gonna be once they find out that you're back on the sauce. Or that Kendall is the one who really shot me in the back. Now, do you really believe that Kendall could handle an attempted murder trial on top of everything else right now? You can threaten me all you want. I refuse to sign that letter. I'm sorry, there must be some mistake. I didn't order anything. No, it's not a mistake. I ordered it for you, but you could use something in your stomach. Thank you. You remember that, right? It's one of your favorites when we were together. I just hope this place does it justice. Go ahead, dig it. Look, I cannot, in, in good conscience, just step up for you. I'm sorry. You think you're sorry now, Erica? What are you talking about? Who are you calling? Jackson Montgomery. Jackson, it's David. I have some information for you. It's about your fiance. Was that really necessary? I believe it was. You realize you only bought yourself a momentary reprieve, right? You need to work with me, Erica, or you are going to be sorry. What's wrong? My throat is swelling. I'm having trouble swallowing. What are you talking about? What is this, another clever way of yours to distract me? I'm not giving this up, Erica. Is there fennel in there? Fennel oil, yeah. The way you've always had it prepared. I'm allergic. Since when? <laughs> I still don't understand why we're not going to the ER. <laughs> no. Oh, <it's> <laughs> I don't want to be here either. Yeah, well, too bad. I wasn't about to leave you. I'm having an anaphylactic reaction. <laughs> it's, it's getting worse. 
You need adrenaline, Erica, or you could die. Give me that. Give it to me. Just give it to me. Who the hell is Jane Campbell? 